Marie with Music City Scuba coming at you today from the Music City Scuba Dive Shop. Today we want to go over what's in my dive bag. So we have our dive bag prepped and ready to go on our dive trip, so let's go over what we have inside. First thing we have is our Akona Adventure Bag. This is a super cool roller backpack, um, nice and roomy, has room for all of our gear. It also has backpack straps on the back, so if you are in an area where you can't roll this sucker, throw it on your back and give it a go. All right, next, first thing we have in our dive bag is going to be our regulator case. So right here up in the front, we've got a nice padded regulator case that has our uh, Sherwood SR2 regulator in it. So that's the first thing we have. Next pocket up here, we have all of our um, dry boxes, dry bag, save a dive kit, and a first aid kit. So in this first dry box, we just have our phone, along with a little tip money to give the boat crew. Next thing we have is a save a dive kit, and here we like to keep things like tools, uh, mouthpieces, mask straps, fin straps, things like that. That'll just save a dive um, and won't hold anything up. We have a little bit of a first aid kit here. It's got band-aids, alcohol swabs, neosporin in it, um, and a dry bag, an empty dry bag just to put things in there that we may need to keep dry. All right, so let's look inside of this sucker. Dun, 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 dun. All right, in here we have all of our dive essentials. First thing we have in this mesh pocket up here is a couple of books. So we're going to be headed to Cozumel, so I've got a little um, local book on Cozumel. It's got dive sites in here, things around the town you can see. Next thing that we have is a waterproof uh, fish guide. I like to take this with me on the boat. Um, everybody likes to look through here, show each other the fishes they saw, um, things like that. It's great. Last book that I have is my big giant reef ID book. Um, this is a great book to take when we get back to the resort. We like to look through here, find the fish that we saw, talk about it with each other. I actually highlight the ones that I've actually seen um, in the water that I know for sure. I love this book, take it everywhere with me when I go. All right, next in this dive bag, let's see. I've got a mesh backpack that I take with me on the dive boat. Put all of this stuff in it that I wanna take with me. It doesn't take up a lot of room, it's mesh, so um, it airs out quickly, dries things. I've also got a mesh duffel bag. Um, that I take to the boat with me. So I'll take out the gear that I need, put it in a bag to take on the boat with me. I certainly don't take this giant suitcase in the, on the dive boat with me. Don't be that guy. Put it in a nice um, soft-sided bag that you can roll up nicely once you have it all out and just store it to the side. The next thing I have with me is a, a windbreaker. I'll take that with me on the boat just in case I get a little cold. I can throw that on. Um, I've got my dive boots with me that I put that I wear with my dive fins and my dive fins tuck right in here on the side pocket. These are the Sherwood Triton fins with spring straps. Love those. Those are great. Uh, the next thing I have in here, of course, is my primary dive mask in here. I also have a backup dive mask just in case something happens with my primary one. I have one that I'm comfortable with that I know is going to do good for me. Next thing I have is a dive light. Look, take this with me on a day dive, look into little crevices, into caves, also use it on any night dives that I go on. Um, take with me a safety sausage, always dive in the ocean with safety sausage and a whistle. Next thing I have is a dry box that has my dive computer in it and also um, an Intova GoPro style camera. I have a bigger camera that I take with me uh, as a carry-on onto the plane. I don't like to pack it in here because I've invested a lot of money into it so I don't want anything to happen to it. Next thing I have is a little toiletries that I put into my backpack to take with me on the boat. Just a few things that I might end up needing on the dive. Of course, I have my reef safe sunscreen. I've got some contact solution because I wear contacts. I have my contact case. I have an extra contact or two that I take with me. My glasses, just in case I need to put those on. Defog, of course. Um, some Q-tips just to dry out my ears to keep them dry and then a little container of uh, leave-in conditioner for me because I'm a girl and I have long hair and it's a nightmare. All right, let's look at the next thing we have in here. I've got my dive gloves in case um, I'm going to go on a dive where I need dive gloves. I've got a lightweight towel that I take with me. This will dry quicker um, than a heavy towel. I've got with me a selfie stick that I put my um, Intova camera on under the water. Um, I can put this closer to little crevices, get this closer to fish because they, they don't want to come close to me, um, and also get cool pictures of my friends. 
All right, next thing I have in here is my wetsuit, my quantum stretch wetsuit. I love this. It's a full, full length, three millimeter wetsuit. And even though I'm Caribbean diving, I always wear a full three millimeter wetsuit. I've got my handy dandy roll up snorkel that I can just put in my pocket of my BC. Always have that with me. I've got a dive knife that I will strap to my leg. And then in here, the last things I have are my Jasmine BC. And I bring along a BC hanger. It's not taking up much room in here. Um, if I take my uh, BC back to the room to dry, I'll have that or I can hang up my wetsuit with it as well. All right, guys, that's how we pack our dive bags. So. we pack in our dive bags when we go on a dive trip. Thanks for watching our video here at Music City Scuba and happy diving!